Hello, hello. Welcome back for another week of fun, fantastic, big damage, Tim Thone. Because the only character in this game is Grand. This is going to be an all Grand round robin. Isn't that right? I don't think so. I think we're yes, seeing many new I characters. I totally believe that. But hello, I'm Spooter. <laughs> Um, this is my co-commentator, Zalgus. It's good to see everybody. It's good to see you. You were playing last week, but now you're up here. That's true, because I don't I don't have a computer that will run this game, this wonderful game. That's sad. Anymore. I, I used to. It sucks. So, I had a computer that ran this game just fine. And uh -huh. then, um, some things happened, and now it won't run most fighting games. I have a so, question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, was your computer not able to process your sick Tekken mix-ups? I think that might have something to do with it. You and I think the, the, the combined sadness of my computer <laughs> no longer running Tekken anymore <laughs> uh, made it break all my other games out of spite. Oh, no! So now I'm here for the commentary. Well, you know what? I'm happy to have you up here. And I'm super happy to be back for another week. Catbox Arena. I think this week is PC. Yeah, we just established that. So we're going to see not, we're going to see a couple of returning faces, but I think some different players as well. The this is true. Now, the, the difference here that's different, uh, it's a cat box kumite first, is we're going to be run, Wait, running this. Say that this, again? A cat box, whatever. What no, no, say it. Say the word. The cat box kumite first <laughs> um, is, this is going to be a round robin. Very exciting. Yeah, the, the cat box Kumite is... What did I say? Oh, did I say Kumite? Kumite. Yeah, that's Kumite. The, that's the correct <laughs> thing anyway. It sounds like a breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so nice Kellogg's Kumite. Kumite. Coming at you. So we've got Argyle returning from last week. Uh, Shin Megumi... Shin Megum... Mm. Oh, you got it, you got it. Keep Shin going. Mega... Minimi. Minimi. You got it. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. There will be no argument there. 40% flash kick, Nito and Crux counter. They will each be playing a match against each other, which will be updated to the, I think it's a burler table. And the highest win ratio wins a tournament. In the case of a tie, it will be decided by who won the matchup between those two players. Ooh, so that should be fun. Those who don't understand how Ron Robbins work, that might be me. I hope I got that right. I, Lord knows. Like, I just got off of doing the Power Rangers Kumite. Shout out to Power Rangers. So I should know how this works. But uh, I would never trust me. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a game that I'd like to try at some point. It's uh, fantastic. I haven't tried it yet. Um, as a Marvel fan, I'm told that I would like it. And yeah, I don't know what's stopping me. It's just Marvel. It's, it's, it's Marvel for game. Marvel by Marvel. I gotta play that game. Yeah. Um, but it looks like we're getting close to our first match. I don't know who we're going to have up first. Um, I see Vemus sitting down there, or Crux Counter, as they go by on the Smash GG thing. Perhaps going against Nito. Ooh, this should be exciting. Ooh, it's possible. Um, so out of the people who are here in the bracket today, what character should we be expecting? Assuming so no surprise picks. So the five players that we've got here, we've got Argyle, probably... Well, we can see Argyle actually doing push-ups down there. He's probably going to be going with the Ladiva. tried and true Ladiva. Yeah. Uh, Crux counter? Venus, I, I don't remember who they play. But we're going to find out. Which and Nito... Grand. Okay. Nito, for <laughs> sure, going Lancelot. Okay. And we're going to have a mirror. All right. Starting things off with the strong, speedy guy who's really, really, really strong and kind of a cheater. Captain very good. Picks up. Yes. We're going to be seeing who of these two will come out on top. All right. So, uh, I, it's interesting. I, whew, I stumbled over my words. So, uh, Lancelot is a character really interesting to fight against because of the nature of how quick he moves, his ability to chase his projectile. He can get a lot of aggression. He can get a lot of aggression. Uh, but obviously, the negative as playing against him is that he's once he's down, it's a bit hard to get up with him. He doesn't have the greatest tools to solve that. So, exactly. it'll be interesting to see how two characters who play a very high pressure game style uh, that lose to a high pressure game style will interact. 
It'll be nice to see like how these two players, like what their differences are in how they play. Um, Nito, I remember doing quite well two Ooh. weeks ago. Wow, no one knew what side that was. Okay. Good projectile, very nice pressure. I'm loving the movement from Nito here, but it looks like Venus has him in the corner. Yeah, nice counter hit. Be, okay, disrespecting it. Yeah, just cashes out. Very nice. Good Ooh, run up. That was nice. Put the fireball out to make him jump. And then get countered. Nito falling with the no, that was that was Venus. I'm sorry, Venus falling with the button there to cover the DP. Ooh, yeah, okay. No punish on that. Good. Probably safe at that range. Yeah. Venus is the red lance. Nito keeping it real with the blue. Ooh. That was a great DP. Nice spike. Okay. Oh wow. Interesting risk to take there, but it did work out for him. Well, to be fair, Nito had a lot of health to play with, so the stagger there wouldn't have been too bad because they also could have pressured with the next chain. They had essentially three guesses to try to squeeze something out, and they were in chip range. So worst case scenario, they take the chip. Fair, fair. Lots of teleporting. Good to see. Oh, dash Showing back into the corner. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Ops does not do the proper oh. combo, so flips out. Uh and gets eaten by the DP spike. Nice. Ah, Nito opting to hold the, the DP. That's really interesting. You don't often see that from last lot players, but it's working out well for him. Great punish. Oh, Not great that's punish. a combo. You got to use that bar. I, like I that say bar, but jump. I do need cool down. And this is probably going to end in a kill. I don't want to jinx it. No, there's the throw. It's not over yet. DP, ah, unfortunately he committed to it and missed. So he gets the punish. Good stuff, good stuff. Nito taking that first game. Very right. solid point for Nito. I believe these are first to two? Uh, yes, it's, it's two of three. Okay. Okay, so starting off right away with the EX, but no combo after. Great throw, moving them back towards the corner. Nice bait on the DP. Oh, How there we go. Dash this out. Yeah. Project down. Falls with button. I want to maybe see empty, like, empty jump into throw behind that, maybe something different, going for the light again. I'm saying Venus doesn't often go for uh, air dash mix-ups. Ooh, you, that's you, ooh, very man. nice. The pressure so that, from Venus was really solid. It was, and Nito, he's, every time he goes for the EX uh, teleport, he's always finishing it with the DP, and I'm not sure I agree with that. But well, yeah, at that point, you're, it's no longer a guess, you're just baiting. Right. Yeah. That loses some of the power of the EX teleport yeah. is that you don't know if it's going to be button or DP. So if they ooh, check ooh, for some oh, nice couple here. Ooh. Oh, unfortunate. Knocked him up too high. Oh, nice combo from Venus right back. Pretty much evening up the health. Now actually working with a life lead, Venus is. Oh, okay, but then we got a small little hit here. Oh, okay. I'll actually put dash Venus down. Anymore. Gets hit by the projectile. It is still his turn. Back throw. Yeah, but that's pretty much okay with Lancelot. Yeah. Because he can, if he goes for a back throw, he's usually setting up for some sort of cross up situation anyway. Right, right. Oh, right. the frame traps, but doesn't get the combo. This might actually be big, oh, but not a big punish. Nito will Very live. Nice teleport. Love that. A lot of respect for Nito right now. He's, he doesn't want to take too big a risk. Oh, but the big risk from Venus actually pays oh, off. That. Oh, no, I don't know if that's what it is. Yeah, and that's big. He could have killed. No, he could have killed. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, he's he got it. XDB meaty pressure. Yeah, it is 1 1 now. I do not, I don't think the idea for the, the Skybound art there was bad. I think he pressed the button for the wrong angle. Because I know if you hold light, it's a more shallow angle. That looked like the medium, but I'm not the best Lancelot player, so I could very well be wrong in that uh, Venus just jumped into a range where it was not going to hit. But I like that Nito, he's no longer opting to hold down the button anymore, but right now he's not managed to get even a hit on Venus yet. Whew. Okay, <laughs> a little slidey mix-ups, very cool. With an anime character in a decidedly not anime game. <laughs> what do you mean decidedly not anime? It's gotcha. Yeah. This is a treat fighter. <laughs> okay, All gets right. a little Nito working on a comeback. I like the. Oh, that was oh, wild. Yeah, oh, and this is gonna actually leave some good damage here. All right, goes to the flip out. Reads Ooh. the DP. Yeah, that could have been big if Venus decided to charge the button there. Yeah. Wall jump. Ooh, that was that looked like a mistake. I don't think that was intended. Oh no. Auto combo to quick cash out. He has projectile, but is he running forward? No, oh. he blocks in time. Great yeah. punish. Wow, yeah, really good punish. Not gonna kill though. But Nito has no bar here. He's gonna have to make this comeback 
legitimately. Lancelot's mid-screen damage is not the best, and that is the trade-off for getting such a big. Damage. This is a big opportunity now. Does it push the DP? That's big. Checks with oh, the and just jabs out. Yeah, close L. So this is match point now for Venus. Venus looking really strong here. The EX dash oh, not on table for Nido anymore with great space control from Venus with the 5M. It's true. We haven't been seeing many dashes or rather sweeps from either player. Nido has gone for one or two, but they haven't connected yet. Okay, that's a, a small little combo. Okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, that wall jump is so hard to do. Yeah, too high. It gets the record. I love the stagger pressure here. Yeah. They're, it's, it's they're like, making you know, Nito extremely it. uncomfortable, but unfortunately they get hit. Oh, but that's a good little combo here. That's a nice chunk of damage. Did yeah, more damage yeah. than I expected it to. I think it was because it was, it was two hits, so it was relatively unscaled. Yeah. Remus finding a close L. Oh, okay. Uh, that time the DP actually it follows through. Oh, catches him through the stagger pressure. Using that bar though. Oh, no. Ooh. Maybe a panic. But... This is the punish. That's not punishable. <laughs> okay, there's the slide. Overhead. I feel like that's the first overhead we see this game. I remember reading on a. I remember reading on a. Oh man, because I remember Pink talking about it. Oh, nice DP. Okay, wow. Nito brought that out of nowhere. I'll have to bring this up afterwards. This is getting intense. All right, so this is match point for both players. Big. Oh, wow, okay, just catch the dab. Actually, coming and ba bringing him back into the perfect spot here. Nice. It's so hard to anti on that. It's projectile gonna follow up. Wall jump is such a crazy move. Okay, the throw. Setting up a cross up here. No, I think that just looked like a, an error from Nito. Oh, no. Oh, okay, doesn't get the combo though. Venus, though, looking good right now. Wall jump. Ooh, <laughs> this could be big. Oh, this could kill. Oh no, it doesn't. Nito right, has a Nito, chance. Here. Yeah. Skin of a seat. Oh. Yes. Skybound art. Ooh, gets the counter oh. hit here. Ops for the Rekka. Oh, nice block. Oh, oh counter counter hit. Hit. Yeah, caught him pressing. Venus is going to take that. Close Lancelot mirror. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. That was great. It's such a Venus. So I remember, I remember, I think Pink was the one saying it yesterday that uh, <laughs> you swore up and down that the Skybound art is not punishable. But, uh, oh, it's super not punishable. No, it actually it is. If you do it in the air, it's minus 16. Oh, yeah, but if you do it from standing, it's safe. Yeah, I think standing, it's space dependent. So, because uh, I've punished, I've definitely punished it from standing before with uh, Grand 2L, but uh, okay. not consistently. So. I think uh, the only time that you're going to punish that is if you do uh, a spot dodge into... And it's got to be like an early spot dodge. I don't yeah, think you can got, do it's it. It's got a fast-moving active box. Yeah. Yeah. But on block, it's very finicky. It's it's a hard it's a hard call to punish it. Strong move, but, strong move. Yeah. Pretty safe to throw out. Yeah, it's opinion. a nice escape tool too. Like, because when you think yeah, about it, true. it doesn't really have much to get up. So like, if you have to, exact, if you have to spend Skybound art, you could just leave the corner or leave the mid screen, wherever it is you're trying to go. This is very true. But yeah, good first match. Happy to see it. Great first match. Very excited for this one. Um, I'm wondering who we're going to be seeing next. Uh, like we said, this is a round robin, and the plan is that we're going to be streaming every single match. Yeah, for sure. So, so we're going to be seeing everybody. Yeah, it's well, just. So, I'm just excited to see who we're going to be seeing. While we wait, though, since we got some downtime, I do want to take a moment to bring back a familiar face from last week, which is Maturino. Uh, Maturino is partnered with Catbox Arena, similar to last week, where you, the viewer, have the opportunity to help promote the tournament, donate to the pot for as simple as just existing with us. Uh, if you go to, I believe it is exclamation point Maturino in the chat, it'll bring up the link to the website where you have donate box where you can donate directly you have a couple of options where you can make purchases that help go towards the pool as well as some little side events on the side and following different twitters or youtubes and that will promote to the pot hey. all the money goes towards uh the player pot helping get in the event uh help supporting the event and if you enjoy the content it's not like giving back a little bit to help out so 
Don't be uh, don't be shy. Check out that link. Do what you can. I think I'm gonna yeah. do that. And I believe it's it's perfectly free to enter. Am I right? Uh, yes. Uh, you or do to not. Sign up, have, right? Yeah, you do not have to pay anything to help support the prize pool. That's it's true. completely optional. And you'll add a little fifty cent for free. That's money that's not even out of your pocket. That's just fifty cents out of thin air. Yeah, you could support G Fuel. We were talking about G Fuel last time. It's got some wild flavors. Oh my god, are we really? Are we yeah. also sponsored by G Fuel? No, we're not. No, but the Matcherino. <laughs> So by association, we're we're sponsored by G Fuel, which makes us gamers. Yeah, but don't forget to use the promo code CPA2 to donate that 50 cents for free. Oh, for sure. Yes. That's the secret That's... strat. All right, so speaking of secret strats, who do we have coming up? Uh, it's the, it's the actually kind of a secret way. because all of these little name tags are hiding it. <laughs> this, I think I, I see. It looks like Naramaya. Yeah, I think I see Narmaya, and if it's Narmaya, that bad. leads me to believe that it is Shin Megami Indy. Yeah, Shin Megami. It is Shin! Haha! -ha. Good call. It is Shin. Hello, Shin. Looking so good. Wave to the camera, Shin. <laughs> I like how they moved out so we could see the name. <laughs> <laughs> very kind, very kind. <laughs> oh, look, he's trying, to, he's trying to navigate himself towards the camera. I like This it. is the first mix-up of the match. Just connect positions. He's in the position. Yes! There's a little salute. <laughs> Looking good. Very nice, Shin. Thank you for your service for the cat box tournament. What a good cowgirl. I, I had no idea it was a cowgirl. I thought it was like a little demon. Had you never seen that she has like little horns? She has horns? Yeah. She's a cow. She's here to fight with her katana. Her kautana. Kautana? Yeah, I'm here all night. Does that mean cow? Oh, yeah. Wait. Look, yeah, she I even guess. has it in her little logo. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea how I missed that. Um, I, I just thought she was just a little demon katana lady with like butterfly samurai stuff. But like, nope, th those are those are horns. She's just a cow. She's the same um, species as Vazaraga. They're friends. Vazaraga's a cow. Yeah. Oh my god, she has horns too. Wait, are we talking about? Oh, dude, I'm confused now. You're getting me with the lore mix up. Yeah. Wait, Don't does that know? mean it's like um... different species and? Some of these species, anyone with horns. Is Ladiva a cow? cow? Yeah. I what? Think. Yeah, she's a cow. I don't know. Are her horns part of her mask? I don't know. Yeah, that. that's what I'm wondering. Because, like, are those real horns? Because, like, those those look like straight ivory. Right? That's, uh, that's, um, that's some um, poacher stuff. But Ladivas look gold? Like some WWE. She might have gotten her horns off the black market. No, <laughs> she, she, <bought, laughs> she bought her horns. Yeah. She cut him off a poor cowgirl. He's a mine now. I don't think so. That that would not fit the lore of Ladiva. She's here for the love. Oh, okay. We're going for a match. I think we saw 40% flash kick. Yeah, it was 40% flash kick. So it's going to be Nara Maya versus Catalina. Wow. Shoto versus... Not even like what would you call Naramaya? Because yeah. like the two stances play so very differently. Like you've got the yeah. very mid-range poke centric stance, and then the rather aggressive Rekka stance. That is from Street Fighter. That's how I see it. Who from Street Fighter? Yeah, the old dude. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, he did have Crane and uh, what should we call it? Huh? All right, nice. He did the knockdown and some screen space. Yeah, a nice little Nar punch. Narmaya looking to control some real estate here. Gets the jump in. For sure, that is what she does. Narmaya very good at winning projectile rolls in general. I love the I love the, the come down with the transformation to get the, the uh, more vertical normal there. I do too. Ooh, okay. Flash kick running right in. Yeah, that is what? not your turn. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, if you let that if you okay. let that charge go through, don't press. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Naramaya a little bit behind on life, but that's very explosive damage. So this is in no way. Ooh, this is true. That was a great Ooh. FADC. That was not a combo or anything. One little super from Naramaya, though, can even this up. Oh, but wow. Nice to hit. With the, the anti air. Yeah, that was great. No jumping here. Okay. Now the projectile stuff is going to end. Ooh, I love cool. that little dash. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. Nothing coming of it, but good presence of mind. Catalina with the corner now. 
Using those EDXs just to keep that pressure up. Love but... it, love it, love it. <laughs> These nice sword slashes from Narmaya going... Like, this, is my re this is my, this is my house. Yes, oh no, blocking okay. No anti air from Shin. Oh, and this is really bad. Counter it. This is gonna hurt. They get the wall bounce. Still got the wall bounce. I can't believe it. No anti air. Just actually got a hit there. Oh, not holding that block button. Gotta hold that block button. This is Narmaya. Could have probably killed there, but still got it. Grand Blue's got the privilege block button. You got the, you got the, the MK tech man. You shouldn't be hit by left, right? It's one of the things about this matchup that you gotta recognize early on. If your opponent is not using the block button and you're playing Narmaya, you gotta take advantage of that. Oh yeah, the, the, the dash drews are way more helpful in that situation. Very much so. And here we go, that's another example of it. Yeah. So he, he, they he's may caught have found, Yeah, they may have found some tech here. It's gonna be yeah, up but... to 40% flash kick to make the adjustment. It's looking good for 40% flash kick right now though. Okay, we got a nice um, counter hit thing there. Not okay. fearing the DP. Would have actually killed Shin had 40% flash rate gone for him. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice hit. Yo, goes for the swap. Ooh, super? Oh, missed the super. That's very unfortunate. You know that yeah, Shin is... That, that was that was Skybound. He is rolling right now. He is not happy about that. Missing that. That no, was He was happy. 40% flash kick taking that first round. Went straight into the rematch, too. Yeah, Shin knows he had that one. He missed it. Okay, this is some good spacing from Shin. Looking like Velvet out here. Control. Catalina not even getting the time to warm up for projectile. Oh, gets the counter hit dash. They lost all of that housing. They are in the corner. Who so are you? Oh, they paid. Oh, okay, the DP. That was such a good range too. Managed to get the second hit late, which means that she gets more Oki afterwards. Okay. Oh wow, the dash through getting the normal the EX. Oh, the, the dash roll. through again. Yo. This is definitely online. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the OG <laughs> mix-up. That's the day one mix-up. Yeah, okay. Wow. Yes, All the way mix! Yo, this hit! Okay, okay. Wow, they're actually, straight in the corner. Are you seeing it? Yeah, really. my turn. I actually just decided, no, I want to be in the corner. I feel more comfortable here. Nice. Ooh, okay. Cool. Was that the range that it was not punishable? Uh, I believe so. That's oh, big, you yeah. You were asking me, you were telling me. <laughs> that is definitely a counter-hit combo from Narmaya. Narmaya taking the first round there. Ooh, nice. Cancels the dash. Nice sides. Not a uh, spot dodge from Catalina. Okay. Was able Predicted to get the little corner. dash through. Yeah. <laughs> but still jumped right back to the corner. That's where Shin feels most comfortable, I guess. Yeah, when you back to the wall, you can't go anywhere. Oh, else. the counter. Oh, thought it was going to be a throw. Gosh. Big damage. Yeah, that's huge. Here. That's about, what, 25, 30%? Oh, yeah, it does a grip. Okay, good punish. Yeah, yeah, oh, nice. Ooh, just a counter hit! Again. Oh. This okay. is just constantly working. <laughs> Wanting to get that damage, gonna get the cutscene. This is gonna do quite a bit. Yeah, this is gonna do, I wanna say about 50. It's gonna even their health. No, that's more than 50. Wow, solid. Yeah, it, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, going for the new stuff. Catalina. We haven't seen much of that yet. Nice break on the throw. No anti air. Oh, and that's gonna kill. Him. So match point now for 40%. You saw the throw game. from Narmaya too. They were expecting the throw there. I Catalina yeah. just 40% flash just running away with these overheads. I think oh, like out of the four or five I've seen them throw, three were counter hits. Yeah, it's um Shin just keeps thinking a throw is coming. Oh nice. No respect at all from 40%. Yes, flash there we and go. Flash there we go. That's why I want to do more of it. Look at that. The DPs are back now for both characters. Oh, don't oh. Get here. Hey, it looked like Shit. they were trying to, they just did it late, and that's why they got counter hit. This is going to hurt. He actually just pressed the wrong button for him here. I think we're there's a little bit of rust here on Shin's side. Ooh. I remember him last week talking so much about missed anti airs, and then he dies. And that's it for Shin. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's it for Shin. Yeah. Before it was a flash kick with a solid 2 0. Yeah, that was pretty convincing. Um, it's unfortunate that Shin had a few opportunities for good overheads and counters, but just missed them. Right. Letting, it was very, seemed very content to let 40% flash kick uh, Yeah, just, just kind of handle it off. Exactly, like, yeah. they, they, they continually put themselves with their back to the wall, and Catalina with those oppressive normals, great projectile game, and solid damage. It's not really the place you want to be. That's true. Uh,
But they, when they had the mid screen, they were doing well. They just needed to fight for that mid screen control a little bit more. I agree. But that was a fantastic match. Thank you to both of our players. And whoa, dude, do you see the 97 bucks on the match arena? Wow, I just saw it pop up on my screen. That's amazing. Yeah, who, yeah. who donated that? Let's check it out. It looks like we have 50 from Kalis. That's the guy running the thing, supporting his own scene. And then Tab with 40%, wait, no, 40%, 40 bucks. <laughs> So, just thank you to both of y'all for your support and thank, thank you, you to everyone much. else uh, with the 50 cent donations for the coupons for just show them what you can you know yeah this this is what's going to the players at the end of the day so yeah it's hard <laughs> the time, players yeah. are definitely going to be thanking the the donators here so thank you very much we've got a live one right here look pyrodyne with a direct contribution of 550. Matcherino is amazing. I love this. I love. I love seeing. I love. I love. See, I love seeing the people support the content they watch. This is really cool. I love it. So thank you, Matcherino, for the partnership. Thank you all of you for being here, for donating, and thank you to the players for giving us the prime content. Very much so. That's we wouldn't be here if not for the players. So thank you very much for being here. Yeah, where would I be without the players? Homeless. <laughs> you know where, you'd have nowhere to go yeah so uh i don't know if you knew this but i actually just live in a studio in chaos's backyard oh wow yeah he, he gives me food to commentate his events that's very nice yeah <laughs> just the the weekly commentary and then yeah uh, I'm, I'm doing back into your kid for two dry biscuits <laughs> yeah, <old> gravy. yeah. <laughs> that's very good it's very good <laughs> Not sure who we're, who we're going to be getting next, but we have some nice push-ups going on over here. Very I nice, very nice. I would like to see Argyle come up next. Yeah. If, I, if I can have any match. Look, Argyle was my was my dark horse. No, that's not true. Piro was my dark horse. Because oh, that's true. Piro was here Tim's, last week. Yeah, Tim's has to stick together, but... We are going to be love, getting yeah. Argyle. Yeah, Argyle. Wait, is Argyle up? Oh, yeah, yeah Argyle and Nito. Man. All right, let's and see some throws. So Nito we saw in the first match against Argyle. All right, so knowing how Nito fought, we know that they like to use that movement a lot. So what's really going to come down to is can Argyle one answer the one answer answer the air mobility, and two keep them grounded enough to get their Ladiva pressure though. I'm expecting a lot of sweeps from Argyle. Sweepstakes? Yes. <laughs> this is always. Oh look, those horns are definitely part of the mask. Yeah, oh, no, they're not. Look. They're totally not. They're totally not. Wait, she what? Is a cow. Oh, what? It's a cow. He's real. All right. Oh, wow. Starting off hilarious. Right. Yo, I ready respect to it. Neck. Yeah. Oh, no. Go. Oh, unfortunately, doesn't get the combo. Drop, what a great oh, my God. Look at these buttons coming out from Argyle to start. And there's a sweep and no punch. <laughs> there is zero respect coming from Argyle right yeah, now. Really. I'm here for it. All right. Nito trying to get some pressure, but no. Gets hit by the low. Oh, and there's a punish on the sweep. So I, I have seen Argyle uh, he misses the, the sweep opportunities often, unfortunately, but it works out here. Yeah, it worked out there. Sweep stakes coming in hot. Argyle with the big money in the first round. Kind of came at Nito like guns blazing and Nito seemed like he wasn't prepared for it at all. Okay, yeah. but now now he's a little he's got a little more composure. He's counter hitting that time that he should. Ooh, Ooh, that, that was very air. nice anti-air. Great Good combo, unfortunately. Step there. Actually, kind of unfortunate for Nito that he used the bar and it didn't work out. Oh, and then the throw. Wow. Uh, that was Very good scary. throw timing from Argyle. Oh, wow, that up. body splash was great. Two the head, the SPD. Oh. <laughs> Nito right now playing very respectfully. I didn't even maybe, have respectfully. Maybe a little more than he should. Yeah, no, 100%. So what we're seeing here is that Nito is 100% letting Argyle take their turn and trying to respond. And Argyle is just putting their foot in Nito's face. That was absolutely savage. Great round from Argyle. Nito needs to make the adjustment for more aggression here. Lancelot is not gonna win the neutral war against Ladiva. Those yeah, limbs are too long. Oh, okay. Had the opportunity for a counter hit, but missed it. Went for the throw and this is <laughs> Ladiva showing Nito how to do a throw. Bruh, are you serious? Nice low on the head. Oh, okay, missed the sweep and there's a punish from Nito. Ready that time. All right, Nito with the dash up throw. I like it. Good momentum. Yeah. Keep the this aggression is, this going. Is how it starts. All right, get him the block. Oh, Locks I like that. Good from, from Argyle. 
Oh no, they got a little antsy to punish and get hit by the headbutt. I like that. Didn't finish the auto combo. Oh, that's big. That's a dead. Yep. Oh, but unfortunately, it's a drop. DP hits. Went for the throw. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, he kills. Wait, oh, he kills. He's he's he no. Oh, no. Oh. All right, they still did it. They did not believe in the the, the one in the hand, two in the bush. <laughs> Good stuff, Nito. Great jump back there, dodging the lane. Oh, but there's a sweep, the patented Argyle special. Sweep in neutral. It works so often. The Argyle oh, wow. mistakes. Just catching that DP completely. Oh, wow. That grabs great. Double head gets the low. Nice sweep. Getting the combo. Great jump. Oh, Unfortunately, misses yeah. the SPD. That this shot. This is a scary situation for Nito, but Nito bravely challenging it. Oh, uh -oh. No. I don't know if that was useful. Yeah. yeah. They did it way enough. too late. <gasps> yeah, that's a, that looks like a punish, but I do wonder what Nito tried to go for after that. You know the meme where Hannibal Burris kicks Flava Flav in the side? Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. <laughs> Nito getting a lot of small hits here. Okay, nice. Yes, that was thick. Wow. Ooh, finished the wreck up. Very risky, but it worked out. Wait, sometimes you gotta take that risk. All right, very nice dodge on the SPD. What are we doing for pressure? Unfortunately, oh, it's hit by Body Slash. slash. Ooh, that's the bounce? Yeah, okay. this time Nito was ready. <gasps> Goes uh, for super. Oh, yeah, no. I didn't think he was good. Yeah, that looked like some fresh big. combo stuff. I didn't know that was going to hit. Nito looking like he's about oh, to pay for no. this. dead. Nito yeah, just died. Flash. Yeah, this is it. They're pinned. This is going to be a, a three. Uh, that's not three. Oh, no, they <laughs> broke out of it. Oh, no, but get the lariat. Oh, Nito. That was insane. Yeah. I was about to say Randy Orton broke out. <laughs> and Argyle, just strong arms after the break on the Super. No fear. Argyle Great showing from both players. From the start. So Argyle had the momentum from the start of that match yeah. and just never let it go. Right. Really and it, it, there's, there's, there's a power to be said to that, especially with a character like Lancelot, who really, their, their game plan is to make up for, the make up for, their more than lackluster uh, mid-range damage is that if they keep the offense going, they can get a lot of really sneaky mix-ups. But unfortunately, Argyle was just making the right guesses and never paid them the respect they needed to get the setup they wanted. And they had no way. They just had no way to force it. While Argyle was able to force their game plan consistently with EX Head and EX Lariat. I sensed a lot of fear from Nito um, in in that last match, especially. There was just a lot of backing off. We saw Nito in the corner almost constantly throughout that match. And Argyle, I, I feel like Argyle got a sense of that real early on and just mounted that pressure over and over again. Any time that Nito like had an inch of an opening. Argyle would always just snuff that out with a sweep or a throw or just something to counter Nito's advance. Yeah. Um, also, I want to I want to make a comment on something that's in the chat. I think uh, while the command throw is frame zero, there is a I believe there's six frames. There's a there's a six frame startup before the zoom in. If you are holding up at any point during those six frames, you're fine. But if you are not holding up by the time that flash happens, you're done. That's it's, true. Uh, there, who's in the character like that? That most, I guess, more recently, the comparison would be. Uh, oh gosh, the comparison would be uh, this game General or... Rom and Ki. Oh, okay. yeah, I've played a lot of Ki recently. Play oh, Ki. Okay. Ki is great. General Rom has a frame one shadow command throw. Wow. If you aren't jumping, you're hit. That's it. <laughs> Speaking of jumping, we do have Lancelot back here. Venus going Venus. up against Sin, aka Crux Counter. Representing Catbox Arena. Looking good, looking good. Crux Counter coming off of a win in their last match, but Shin Megami looking to see if he can clean it up. Yeah. Shin, Shin Megami. I like that. Ooh. Starting off with the 2H as if to say, like, this time I'll anti air. <laughs> but missed the anti air opportunity there. Alright, so Lancelot getting a little bit of damage here. Not too much that Narmai needs to be afraid, but unfortunately they're back into the corner. It's the mid stream jump out. Okay, ops for the uh, sword form. He wants to play a close range game. He's here for it. Oh, oh good block. Guess. This is a punish. No oh, punish. Gets a little smack. At least it's something. Okay, that's very a, nice. Solid combo there. Three hit. Yo, that's bottom sick of this oh, hit. Oh god. That was nasty. Demus definitely pressed something there. Look at that. Though all of those two Bs that uh, Narmaya does are a plus. Not be pressing on those. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that was absolutely savage. Naramaya took the momentum from the game. The DP was oh. sick. That was such a smart DP. That was the DP that actually has a parry. Oh no. Okay, they do not get the punish. punish. They do it actually get chips here. Okay, so I love how smart that was. Was they they recognized that they were gonna push them out there and swap stances so they could get the quick special off the two M to shoot for the to, to shoot for chip range. And so yeah. worst case scenario they get in chip range. Best case scenario they get the round. It was super True. smart by Naramaya. Oh, Lancelot, getting that second hit of the Rekka, you do get a combo if that happens, especially if it's counter hit. Okay, get to the... Shin once again, doing the patent and Shin and jumping into the corner, legally. Okay, small little combo there, doesn't get the link. Oh wow, finishes the Rekka! Yeah, didn't get too much off of it though. Yeah, but they believe. With that nerfed fireball. Okay, and now Shin is out of the corner. Alright, we'll have to light jump. Still looking. Oh, okay. That 5H was definitely not intentional. Ooh, nice throw. Oh, wow. Very risky throw at that. Oh, wow. Was... Ooh, look at this pressure. That oh, is. Oh, wait. Much... No way. Uh, oh, okay. What the heck of a read? Yeah, because the spike is fully invulnerable. Yeah, when it comes down. Yeah. All right. Naramaya with no blue stuff, but. Oh, wow. Oh, Catch that's the a back dash with 6-6 six, six heavy. This is true. So both of them, they're still fighting for that first game. Okay. The slide's coming from Vemus. And the DP's coming from Shin. Now that's something that Shin, you won't often see him do. He's very anti-DP. He doesn't like doing reversals in general. I feel so, like that. so when you see them, when you see him do it, it's, it's like, ooh, you brought him to a certain point. Yeah. Oh, yo, that was uh, sick. Love just meeting grandma, every yeah. air team. And there's an anti-air from Shin. Probably feeling very happy about himself. I did it. No anti-air that time, though. Okay, good block from Narmaya. Very good patience here. Both of them just oh, sort of auto copying at each other. Yeah. And that's going to be first game to Shin. That last round looking pretty convincing. Yeah, for sure. Um, if I recall correctly, Naramaya auto combo is minus four, right? At the end of block? I'm not sure. Most yeah. of the auto combos just across the cast are not great on block. If you yeah, can. Yeah, I, I, I'm a bit sure Naramaya oh, is. Okay. The slidey from so far away. Such a good move. Oh, and there's the anti-air. Where are you going? Oh, and the combo, oh, too. Very hurt. nice. Very nice. His wall bounce. Oh, gets the whole thing. Shabing! Going for that full damage. Good lord, that did a lot of damage. And that just gets a low for the kill. Shin looking comfortable. This is now match point for Shin. Shin looking very solid here. Wow, I actually got two air slices from that. Oh, it would... Crux counter not using that block button. you got to be doing it against Narmaya. Now Shin looking much better and more confident with his anti airs. I think once Shin has he has his anti airs on deck, he feels much more comfortable. In general. Right? Yeah, because he, he, he doesn't feel like the sky is a threat. Exactly. Okay. Oh wow! Not respecting. Oh, very good from Crux Counter to get out of that situation. That was a dangerous place to be. Now he's got the pressure. The and it's just a finish. Oh, but the counter hit. Oh, this is the combo, however. Yeah. Wow, anti aired with a close beat. Oh, no. Oh, you're right. That is punishable. Told you. Wow. Well, thank you, Shin, for proving it. And Shin takes it. Very solid game there by Shin. Shin making the adjustment, not letting Nido get the. Not Nido, I'm sorry. Oh. Not letting uh, Venus get the screen position that they want for free, using that, uh, that great zone control from mid stance, and then opting for the aggression uh, once they close into like what frame? What was that range one? Uh, just um, definitely had a nice adaptation. Got I, I just saw a lot more comfort in Shin's playstyle at the end there. Um, yeah. for, it seemed like he had a, a good read on what Crux Counter was going for, but Another... Crux Counter a good showing though. Yeah, another thing uh, is that I went ahead and looked it up, and it's that, yeah, Nara Maya's auto combo is minus four, so Lancelot doesn't actually have anything that can punish that, or really good responses given the knockback, so opting for the stance transitions in there 
to get the form they wanted was extremely smart because yeah. Venus would have had to make some form of risk to shoot to jockey for a better position no matter what. Good, well played from both players, though. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Excited to see what uh, pretty much what we're getting. We're getting a lot of uh, like back and forths. It was very close in uh, that early game. Um, Crocs counter had a few opportunities to take it. Yeah. Um, it was looking pretty good, but then like once Shin, I think that the turning point was once Shin became more consistent with his anti airs. Mm -hmm. He like, I don't know, he remembered the timing or something. He got, uh, he's not he's thinking of the Velvet Six A's right. anymore because they were they were DPing out of pressure as well. Mm -hmm. So they they oh, yeah, that's true. They, they started really getting a feel for the pattern of Venus's aggression. And Venus never really made any kind of, uh, I don't want to say meaningful, because I feel like it's diminishing, but didn't make any kind of adjustment to offset the adjustment that Naramaya met them with, right? Yeah. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's all fighting games are, just adjustments and counter. -adjustments. Exactly. That's that's the, the great thing and the beautiful thing about fighting games at a high level is it's all about, like, I've adapted to you. Can you adapt to me adapting to you? And now, can you adapt to me adapting to you, adapting to me adapting to you? And it just becomes layers. that, like, yeah. it's just, it, it, there just keeps going on layers. It never stops. And that's the beautiful thing. It's like a, it, it's like Inception, dude. It's like, oh no, <laughs> he blocked my mix up. We have to go one level deeper. Yeah. Once people start taking counter hits on purpose, that's when we're really deep into dude, it. Dude, I've had, pe I've, I've had people do that. Cause <laughs> like, like, I've got like a command throw set up. I'm like, haha. If you block this, it's a tick throw, and they take my down one, and then I whiff my command throw. I'm just like, oh no. Yeah. It's like, wait, you were hit by that? Huh. 10 damage to punch you in the face. So we are getting Argyle against 40% uh, flash kicks here. I am not biased at all. Go Argyle. We'll be seeing some slides. <laughs> Go Argyle. Go Argyle. And we're going to be seeing a lot of offensive pressure from 40% flash kicks. Oh, 100%. Catalina has great normals for this matchup, and if if Argyle is not careful, 40% will poke them out for trying that kind of aggression. They need to be a bit more measured here, figure out the pacing that 40% wants to play, and not let them get that solid Catalina damage. These players are pretty aggressive just in their playstyles in general, though, so this will be an interesting meeting and clashing of the minds. <laughs> and the sweep from Argyle patented, and a DP from Great DP. 100%. Oh, that from was a nice, yeah. Those, yeah, those were the, uh, the two L spam. So much damage for no bar, really. Wow, blocks the empty okay. jump low. Oh, Ooh, trying to throw, not splash. working. Splash, all right, let's go. Oh, that looked like a throw setup, but 40% got hit, and then just takes his damage. Yeah, good neutral jump on the elbow. Oh, the sweep. You gotta be ready for them against yeah, Argyle. Ridiculous, baby, we are in there. Face. Boom. First game, or first round goes to Argyle. What if that no slouch though? Some really great reads there. Just didn't have the damage to finish it out before Argyle got the touch. Nice duck on the lariat, but no punish. Great punish on the sweep though. It's kind of similar so far to the Nido match, where Argyle is just not showing respect and now kind of paying for it. Can we address that 40% flash kick has Game Shark in and all of his overheads are counter it? It's a little tricky online. <laughs> okay, but this is a start for Argyle. Ooh, nice throw. They get pressure here. I'm expecting some sort of DP here. Wow, okay, that was that surprising. Was no one expected that. Oh, but there's Slam. a I'm gonna show her all these swords. This is what my sword looks like. Nah, definitely not dead. What? Oh, but then just Whoa. go through a throw. Still alive, though. No reversals. Okay, okay. got out of there. Those under. Yeah, I respect it. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Gotta be ready for that fireball. That was the only thing that Catalina can reasonably do from that range. Yeah, that was a that was a great uh, reversal. Not a reversal, but a counter hit super uh, from Catalina on the windup of the normal. Opting yeah. For the Opting to use bar instead of instead of a cooldown. You Which can't take it with you when you die, you better spend it. Yeah. I like that. Spot dodging the, the air move. It's good. Oh, this is a big opportunity for damage. That, that was, was a nice tick. Yeah, that was setup. a great setup. Yeah, we got Shades of Tab over here. And another one. One more? Do you one more? I'm dead, but this is one mix up away. Oh, oh no oh, way. They were trying it. Went to a DP. But they were expecting a normal, not a DP. Yeah, I might actually pay for that because there's really no reason for Argonel to do that. But Argonel, 
with the patented Argyle sweep, takes that game. Sweet First game, actually. Stakes. Good stuff to Argyle. Argyle said, congratulations, you won! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be ready for that sweep. All right. 4% uh, flash kick. It's a solid aggression here. No counter Damn. hit, but gets the counter hit anyway. Yeah. Great. He's catching Argyle and pressing buttons at times that he shouldn't. Okay! Wow! That, that was weeps? Yeah, that was weird. Okay, but Flash King definitely in his favor right now. Okay, this could be the start though. The Diva does a lot of damage, but no, no dice. Oh, that was a great duck by Catalina there. A solid punish to take the first round of the second game. 3% Flash Kick looking good. Had a lot of health that last round. Counter hit, res nice response dash. Ooh, and there's the anti-air, it was ready. Gets the wall balance. Look at this damage, it's so ridiculous. Nice. Yeah, not respecting the buttons after the overhead. Okay, missed the throw, but oh, still got the hit after. And then the sweep. This is usually how Argyle stuff starts, but... Wow! 20% flash kick saying no that thank you. That was a read. That was a read. Yeah, they, they knew they the wanted super. to go for the SPD. That's yeah. I know I have a DP, but just take the super. I know it's going to hit. You can't throw me. I have meter. Wow. Okay, hey, wow. Nice yeah. counter hit there. 40% flash kick making a major adjustment here. Yeah. Just be beating Argyle with buttons. Yeah. Okay, but now Argyle all of a sudden has 40% flash kicks in the corner. Right, this was this the situation that I was we're talking about before. Is that, uh, 40 oh, flash no, no, he's dead. He's dead. No, drops. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, but he opted for SPD. Oh, no. I'm cursing these people with my commentary. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, match point for 40% flash kick. This is a combo, unfortunate. That was big. <gasps> you see that? The close 5H just to beat that sweep. We're seeing a read right now on Argyle for 40% flash kicks. Oh, okay, but then a counter hit splash. That's what you were just talking about. Yeah. That was not supposed to hit. Okay, we got a counter hit though. Oh, but the DP is And that's probably yeah, that's, death. No, because it, oh, it, it hit too high. It doesn't get the, the oh. uh, cinematic. So this is not over. Ladiva could make a comeback. Gets the sweep. Caught something. Oh, oh, and then the roll. Catching a counter hit is 40% flash kicks to take that game. Take that whole that match. Was fantastic showing. Mm. Oh, man. And that, that's what I was talking about. The adjustment was pretty solid uh, from 40%. Uh, from 40% flash kick. Uh, they realized that they were letting Ladiva just kind of run their offense and that they didn't have to play that game. They could have just held back and use the offensive normals that Catalina has, and they did to a very full extent. And when they expect the SPD, super. They hit him with that three times. There was and just it, a, it was clear that 40% flash kick had a read on um, Argyle's style after that first game. That's what they say sometimes. That first game is data. Yeah. And then, and, it, and then it was just a clean game, sweep from there. Right? Yeah. So I believe so, that is the halfway point of yeah. the tournament. We've got some good standings right now. Um, yeah. So I believe first place is... So first place looks like a tie, maybe? Uh, I don't think so, because it, it hasn't been updated yet. So we're still waiting on the update for the Argyle. Ah, okay. But, but Argyle um, did win, uh, I think, how many matches has, so has each right done? There. Here's the update right there. Uh, Argyle lost to 40% flash kick, but they beat Nito. Uh, so uh, okay. it looks like first place is going to be 40% flash kick with the only perfect record in standing right now. Second cool. place being Argyle. Uh, second place being Argyle with third place being Shin. Fourth place being Crux. And Nito, unfortunately, time coming at the back, 0-2. But it's not over yet. They still have Shin, and they still have 40%. Definitely true. Um, each player d does have two more players to fight against here. So they've got their chances. Yeah. So um, we we have a good bit of matches left to go. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We have five matches left to go. So uh, this is the time. If you're enjoying what you watch, please don't be afraid to stop on by the match arena. Code CBA2, I believe. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, CBA2. 
donate what you can if you can't donate. I'm like seriously scrolling. I hope that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I went and checked it myself. No reason to not. Yeah, CBA2 is CBA2 is correct. Yeah, and uh, if you can code. support, please do. If you can't, that's fine too. I know it's hard times just being here supported enough, but if you don't mind taking a moment, you can go ahead to these click quests to give contributions through the site that goes straight into the pot. All this goes to support uh, Catbox Arena and the players as a way to help help boost the content that you love coming to watch. That's for sure. Yeah, we actually have way more than the last week. We have 100 now. I think last week we had about, what, uh, maybe 30, 40, I believe? So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty these, these players are making some money tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. Whoever wins this is making some bank. And it looks like 40% flash kick. So if you guys want to get paid, the 40% flash kick, donating 50 cents. He's like, oh, I want this. I want this half dollar. <laughs> yeah, he's looking good so far. But yeah, um, please keep him coming in and uh, enjoy the show. Yeah. 40% flash kick does have two opportunities to... Um, he still has to get through two players um, before he can secure his place comfortably. But... So what they, what they would need to do is if 40% flash kick, oh, I, it's been so long since I, uh, it's been so long since I have done bracket, right? I've done a uh, round robin, but uh, projection obviously would be for, I think 40% to take it. Probably because I'm, he... I'm sorry. He, he did he did come second place in the PC tournament last week. Um coming second to Tap, but Tap couldn't make it. Instead opting to just throw money at the Matcherino. So good right. on him. And so the only way I foresee forty percent not winning this would be if they if Crux Lost beats next 40, matches. Yeah, if 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 Crux beats forty and then turns around and beats Argyle. Oh, yes. Because Crux already has a win on Nito, and that would put them at three. Right now, though, we are going to be getting some Nito against Shin Megami and me. An XVO team kill it was bound to happen. If I'm not mistaken, these two players did fight together earlier in their little practice sessions. Yeah, so we'll see what they learn from the, the practice, right? These two do play a lot. I can definitely attest to that. So this so should be interesting. One of the cool things about fighting games is that once you've practiced with someone enough, the game stops becoming a character matchup. It starts becoming a player matchup. Oh, definitely. So already I'm sensing like, Nito is probably going to be looking more comfortable in this matchup uh, than any of the others. Is what I'm predicting, just because Ooh. Nito can kind of have a read on Shin Megami and his habits early on. But right now, Nito's just getting hit by a lot of projectiles, only to get hit by that combo. Sweet. Oh, wait. Oh, this is That was a real punish, yeah. Big oh, damage. goes for the full damage? Oh, wow. Yeah. Went for the mix up, and of course. Yeah, just no no respect for Shin. Oh, but Nito not holding down the block button, as you should be doing against Namaya. Yeah. So Namaya getting the side swap mix up there for the solid damage and the first round. Shin stealing a lot of damage with that side mix up. And side mix ups in this game should not be real. Oh, yeah. They're all fake. You have a button. Oh, okay. No this is some big that. damage, though. Ooh, wow. Goes for the optimal stuff, too. We rarely see optimal stuff from Shin, so I'm... Personally, I'm proud of him for that. Was well, Shin not an optimal player? Definitely not. <laughs> he goes for what's easy. Well, look, look, right there is something to respect about that. Okay. Some damage is better than no damage. This is very true. I can't argue with that. Okay, but now Ooh, we got... Wow! Really that nice auto-correct! So kill for sure! Yeah, that's it. It's this might be too far, actually. Oh, no, it's definitely not too far. No, it is not too far. Yeah. Do you see that hitbox? Yeah, I think they improved it or something. That's literally in the next stage. Into the next game now. All right, Narmaya. Pretty convincing. Confident first win from Narmaya. Look at that. No fireballs here. This is the no-fly zone. Yeah. Lancelot trying to find a time to sweep under, but the anti-air is from Narmaya. Shin had a lot of opportunities to set those up in the last game. Unfortunately, Nito had an opportunity for a combo there, but then just dropped it. Definitely sensing some rust from Nito. Oh, wow. Tried to catch the anti-air there as well. 
Use the back carry on the heavy. Ooh, very good. Using the dash to mix up the timing. And then gets a, a counter hit on that. That's actually been hitting Punk a lot, or Shin a lot. Use that Punk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have right. many aliases. Wow, dash is right under. This is, uh, this oh, is, ooh, okay. What's it gonna be in the throw? And match point now for Shin. Nagami, in me. AKA Dia, AKA Punk. AKA my husband, apparently. Wait, is Shin Nagami in me Dia? Yeah. What? Did you not, did you not know that this is who you were calling No. Wow. I thought Shin Nagami Mia was chicken. What? No. <laughs> anyway. With this <laughs> game now, did you see that from Nita? No, two more frames. I think it's Dia. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> wow, two overheads. The revelations going on in this match are quite something. Ooh, okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, wow, missed the anti-air, but still managed to hit him. Did Nita? Oh well, both in the air. That was incredible, actually, from Shin. Shin looking like he really wants to take Ooh. this. Wake up, Cooper. Not gonna oh, bite. Not gonna bite. That's a dead character, Shin Megami. The commentator. <laughs> Shin Megami in me. <laughs> I can't believe it. Looking good. Falcus. <laughs> <I'll guess. laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> it's over, GG. <laughs> wow. All yeah, right. Shin Megami, imagine that, Shin Megami and me, not only a commentator, but actually not a bad player either. Yeah, take that. So Shin Megami now 1-1 one one in bracket, uh, uh, think, with one loss to 40% and one win against Crux. Or was that, I think, wait, was that Nito right there? Yeah, that was against Nito. I think he also oh. got a win against Crux, however. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they're 2-1 they're now. One now. So they're looking Shin pretty Megami. solid. Yeah. Good for Shin Megami. I'm glad that he... He's he's fighting like he's more comfortable now with the uh, the anti airs especially. I'm always so I bring up anti airs with Shin a lot. Um, for anyone who was here last week, uh, where Shin did nothing but talk about two H on stream. Yeah, every single time, anytime, anyone, any character was in the air, you would hear Shin go like two H. Um, and we didn't see a lot. Of I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, but now now the two H's are coming out, looking much yeah. more comfortable. I mean, oh, I'm this just match I've been excited for. Oh, is this, this Argyle is versus uh... Shin Megami and me? Woo! Alright, so. Bros. I don't know if I've seen these two fight each other, but this is definitely a matchup I've been looking forward to. This is gonna be boss. Boss. It's gonna be a boss match. It's gonna be a boss match. I'm excited. Alright, we got the two boys lining up Argyle versus Shin Megami on the beach, Noramaya grabbing a sword. Mm -hmm. Cowgirl versus cowgirl. The tall cowgirl except against the sleepy cowgirl. Should be good. Big move versus little move. <laughs> Aw. She's just meditating. Oh, she's sleep. Oh, so diva. You also Man, I wish I could get up that quick. So long ago that I <laughs> snooze buttons like no. I'm not she's ready to you. fight. She's in this. She had her sword in her lap. She's ready. Oh, wow. that's a dodge. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a heck of a statement from uh, Argyle. But then Argyle getting hit by the overhead counter hit. Counter yeah. hits right now from Normaya. All right, so Shin doing a pretty solid job of controlling the space, knowing Ladiva wants to play in that close range sure. and Look not letting them get it for free. A complete lack of respect of the close range. Ooh, Ooh okay. that's a big opportunity. Nice. Oh, wow. the two H is ready. Look at that, the spacing from Shin right now. Oh, but the sweep stakes. Block, oh, block, 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 block. All right, punish. Wow, wow what a bigger. Just reached out and grabbed her. Oh my gosh, I just noticed Argyle was in serious chip range, but uh, yeah. jump L is what it'll yeah. take. Argyle needed to put out a lot more damage there if they wanted any chance of coming back before uh, Shin poked them out. But now we know Shin is going to play the space control game as they run in. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like Shin needed an opportunity to warm, to warm up in that first after or since that first game because now he's playing much more like he remembers how to play Grand Blue. <laughs> As opposed to not remembering how to play Grand Blue. He was definitely fighting like he didn't remember how to play Grand Blue in that first game. But right now. Yeet! Oh hard. my god, that was more so cool. Great jump into yo in the grab! Yeah. Look Just at that damage! 
You saw how Shin tried to jump out and then she got booted in the face yeah. for it? Yeah. And then it's just like, this is why you stay on the floor. Argyle said, I know your greed. Argyle going with the ambiguous, goes for the SPD. Wow, that was actually... Reset. That was amazing because he actually hit the splash, saw that he hit the splash, and then decided to wait before he went for the SPD. Yeah. That's difficult to do. Yes. Oh, but sweet, but don't punish from Dia. Getting small little oh, counter hits here. Nice. Dia's goal should be just to wait um, for that opportunity for Argyle to get into that range. Oh, wow. Stuff's the super. The super. Oh, yeah. big boot! Head chop. Oh, oh no, the Larry goes right on. Is he deaf? Nah, that's not bad. Not quite. Oh, oh, wow, that was sick. Wow, yeah, good combo. Yeah, that was that was really great conversion from DA there, or Shin. <laughs> I, you got me in me. Your mind is still blown. I, I can't it. read that. <laughs> Why would they do that to me? <laughs> great 5M to jump. Naramaya with... Pretty solid control that first game. Great 2H. For sure, for sure. Getting hit by Lariats, though. All right. Uh, Argyle opting for a lot more jumpings than I would. We've seen that Shin is pretty consistent with that 2H. Oh, but we'll sit there. Maybe a more shallow jump or an empty jump to bait it out to try an option there. Yeah. Look at that. Shin just waiting. Yeah, Shin just controlling neutral. Uh, yeah, definitely. Argyle, Argyle looking... Has to, to make the come up with an idea. Yeah, Argyle has to make the gamble in this matchup. Shin does not have to click anything. And in fact, I'd be surprised to see Shin swap out of that stance because they just they just don't have to. He has no need. Yeah, there's no need. You're gonna be seeing that pink stance this whole time. Yeah, look at that. Just hasn't even gotten a hit yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just as I say that. <laughs> Argyle wanted to walk up command, bro. For sure. Oh, not holding that. the block button. It's gonna be hitting everybody, I think. I don't think anybody's holding. Oh, and that's a disrespect. Oh, never mind. Again, here I am cursing people. Just wants that chip. He can do anything ah, he wants. Unfortunate. He just takes Argyle. that right convincingly. Just yeah. good matchup knowledge there. Yep. Argyle tried their heart out. Uh, just couldn't find their way in. Shin did a great job of setting up a, setting up a control zone. And they said, look, you come in here, I'm fishing. And Argyle, unfortunately, got hooked every time. Definitely. Yeah. But good showing, though. Yeah. I think yeah. Um, with with that loss, actually, I think that's going to be putting Shin in um, in the second place position, if I'm not so, mistaken. Uh, only because, I believe, 40% hasn't played another... I mean, yeah, 40% has played in the game, so they still have a 100% win rate. So that will, that will move Shin into... I believe. Shin, has, Shin has only lost one game, and Argyle right. now has lost two. Right, but that'll move Shin into first place in the standings because they have three wins over... Oh, yeah, three, oh, yeah, for sure. One. for sure. But it's only because 40% hasn't played again. So what this is going to come down to, though, is but that yeah. if Crux or Nito beat Shin, then... No, Crux and... I just realized, no, Shin is done. Shin has yeah, played Shin all has his games. Yeah, that's all the games. So yeah. what I'm saying... For forty percent to lose to for forty percent to lose to Shin, forty percent has to lose both of these games because they this beat Shin. So this Shin at best I mean, Shin at best can tie uh forty percent if they if they win one, lose one, right? And yeah. in which case they just it, it it goes to the tiebreaker. So so Shin right now is gonna be Crux Counter's biggest fan. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants this. Because now he's he's sitting comfortably. He he's just waiting to see how these dice will fall. So this is gonna be forty percent versus Crux, right? Crux counter against forty percent flash kick, that is true, that is correct. Alright, so let yeah. those interests rock, I like it, very classy. So as soon as, as if, if 40% wins this match, they're locked in. Mm -hmm. But if they lose, there is a chance for a race. However, this is all up to Crux. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. Roll to start through. Oh, trying to jump out of, wow, what a catch. Ooh, oh, nice, yeah. Oh, and this is gonna hurt so much. Oh, but it actually goes for the low damage yeah, combo. Goes for the low damage. Do you get better positioning with 
I don't think you get anything. I think um, I think 40% just opted to go for the safer option. Because right now, 40% is looking very comfortable. Yeah. First time he actually takes Chip now. No real reason to Gooseneck. Yeah. What? Sure. <laughs> Have you never heard the phrase Gooseneck? I heard it for the first time last week from you. So. Y'all are wild. I'm just... I've, yeah, D as far as I know, Pringles. you've been this word. Combos. It's not Pringles. You don't know Pringles. Ooh, okay. You play Marvel. You should know this. DP coming out from um, Venus, but right now it's, it's just Ooh, tough. That's okay, the sweep put a stop that. Box, oh, he would have faked to the DP. Didn't let the full 5H rock though, so missed out on a bit of damage, but damage is damage. Yeah, damage is damage. Ooh. Oh, oh, yo, it was sick. All right. Lancelot, oh, great screen hot. position here. Good air to air. Oh, get up. No. <laughs> That's, oh, that's yeah. not concern. That is definitely not negative. Okay, that. Oh no, he's so Crux counter is losing to a lot of frame traps here. Just the rule of thumb is if you get hit by an EX fireball or something, it's probably a frame trap. Case in point here, the most plus of the moves. When in doubt, block it out. Oh, what an escape! One little super will do it here for Crux counter, but one anything from flash kicks. Oh, wait a minute. What did he press? There was actually no reason um, yeah. for Quex Counter to lose there. Unless he pressed something. 40% flash kick must have read something. Yeah, hard call out. I will definitely say so. Ooh, are we maybe getting a character switch from Quex Counter? Yeah, it looks like it because they went back after the first match. Oh, this should be interesting. I've not known Quex Counter to use any other character. Okay, we got a Percy. The Japanese agree that this is the best character in the game right now. All right, yeah. So here's my love, first of all. He doesn't care what you want to do. This dude is a gorilla. He's like, I'm going to run my game, and if I get meter, you die. Yeah, pretty much. He controls the space. And I think that's a good strat because Catalina, her space, her range control is really nice, but she can kind of struggle a bit if someone can outrange her. And he also just well, definitely that character. He just dumps damage. Yeah, especially now. This beam is ready. All right. We nice. Shall see. Great. That's the first button we see from Beamus right now. Okay, the rolls. Trying to catch. A lot of respect. I, I like it. I like the patience there. Tries to dash in, but unfortunately gets hit kinda, for it. I kind of don't like it. I think Crux Counter is showing a little too much respect right now. And look at this. He's taking all this damage because of it. Well, he was trying to move in in the beginning. He was trying to oh, get well, that's into the a range. big opportunity. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Gets oh, the gonna hurt. Oh no! Hit you on accident. Didn't get. So he loses the turn. Then he has to spend it to get the. Uh, to get They're the. Okay. Oh, what a nice spot dodge from forty percent. Probably gonna do about forty percent damage here. Yeah. That was like death to me. Okay, now match point for forty percent flash kick. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Venus needs to find some hits here. Oh, very oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's good, good damage, but unfortunately, the un. Oh, I'm sorry. You go. I was just gonna say, 40% flash kick just not respecting any time that his opponent gets any sort of opportunity. He's just very willing to press buttons after. I was gonna say, him. unfortunately for him, that was the not. That looked like the light dash into light, which is not very good. If I'm remembering yeah. correctly, it's on hit minus four. Getting the hard knockdown there. Ooh, that's some good damage. Oh, it still gets the wall bounce. What a character. This is the DP though. No EXs right now for 40% flash kick. Opting to go for a throw quite cleverly. This just being outspaced by Catalina. Oh, that's, 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 that's it. Kill, yeah. That's it. Yeah. We didn't see too much for Percival there, unfortunately. Just it was all 40% flash kick. Um, really forcing his situation and just like forcing his opponent, like you're playing my game and yeah. we're gonna be playing by the spacing of my buttons. So I don't care if you have a negatives of Percival and it, one of the reasons why I probably struggle so hard with him, and why I'm still not confident with him, is that while he does have great range and solid damage, his normals are slower. Uh, they're, they're definitely a bit slower than, say, a Catalina, who has a comparable range, but a much faster offense. So it really was on uh, Crux 
to set the groundwork, find the counter hit, get the meter, and then make sure to spend it on the medium so that you can get those hard knockdowns and apply the pressure. But they just weren't able to find that. So it sure. was it was entirely a uh, 40% game. For, or, Percival, as a character, he's mostly looking out for with punishes in general, because that's sort of what he built he's built around to do. Right. His super, if you hit if you hit like a light from half screen and link into super, that super is hitting. That this yeah. character is built for that. Um, and unfortunately we just didn't see any. Screen, that's super yeah. is hitting. There was and there was no I didn't see Vemus looking out for whiff punish opportunities either. It was just it was just um kind of getting walked kind of flashing, walking yeah. into normal range. I didn't oh, really mind. We... I didn't mind when they were withholding buttons when they were trying to fish in because I thought maybe they were gonna try to apply some quick light pressure, so, maybe go for a command throw, but they just didn't maybe. find anything. So this is interesting. Crux counter leading off with Percival. I have a feeling this is not what Crux Counter meant to do. Yeah, I feel like that was an accident. But we'll see if we'll see if they let this rock or not. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah, no, this looks real. It, and there we go, right real. away with the whiff button. This is how this. That is how it's a Boston is. button check. <laughs> yeah, this this looks like some personal gameplay now, just using that range. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Okay. Oh, rolling in though. All right. It's a weird choice, I find. Rolling in as Percival. Yeah. Now, now, this is how yeah, Argyle. That range. Oh, that's big. <laughs> Argyle, this is going oh, to this... be Okay, it actually hurt as much as it could have. But the counter hits, very plus. What is this going? Okay, just going to the super. Bionic arm. That works. All right, good escape from Venus right. there. Has meter, ops with a light fireball, trying to conserve it. Oh, double neck. The head. Showing Percival. These are my horns. These are my horns. Yeah, that's about to hurt. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, I like that. The two-hit auto combo into Command Throw. That's some tap stuff. We saw a lot of that two weeks ago. Oh, good jump in. Yeah, okay, great. A good option. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. They love the reset, neutral jump in the button to hold him to the ground, and then option the Command Throw, double neck, and chop. Ladiva taking the first round. If uh, if Argyle wins this one, they get third place. Um, it's counter. Looking a little nervous, and against this matchup, I'm actually very surprised that he's that they stuck with uh, Percival here. Really believing in this character. But look at that already in the corner, and we're not even ten seconds in. This is looking grim. This is a scary situation Ooh, to be in oh, against. Oh yeah, you do not want to. Oh no, oh. Argo not okay. up to make a happy play. Okay, this is this could be the start right now for Venus. That was a lot of respect given. They could have done that during the. Ooh, they caught him in the Oh no! Oh, He's still smiling though. He held up First of all, back class. instead of back. Oh, he thought maybe it was a throw. Yeah, but the I throw guess. does not. He doesn't. The the throw does not go full yeah. screen like that. Yeah, if you are full screen, it's armbar. Yeah. That's who stakes. Oh, catch oh the splash! I had all the time in the world to confirm that. Oh, I like that. Oh, the little rock up. Little rock up. Right. It's not over yet. He spends the EX. He has money. He has he has money to play with. He needs to cash it out. That's it. Nice, nice. Good for Crux Counter right now. Oh, the command throw. Finish. Oh, okay. Still gonna oh. get chipped. Actually, no. It's one hit. Nice duck. You're right. So, our Argyle actually, if Argyle had gone for a command throw, though, I wonder if it would have worked. Like the super command throw. Uh, yeah, probably. Because they did not jump. And that yeah. command, that, that started oh, on that sick. normal. Confirm? That was sick. Oh, the anti-air. All of a sudden, Veeam is looking very comfortable. Ooh. Nice, look at that. Confirming the DPs from far standing end. This is some comfort right now. Great command throw. And they got command throw, yeah. Oh, the sweep, very good interrupt. Oh, and the splash, this could be huge. Oh, the respect for both players. Look at that stare down. Oh, oh, oh that he got hit. The man throw? Yeah, that's it. That's the count. Yeah, I got it. Wait, maybe? Maybe? Three. 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 Oh, from oh, the top the... ropes, guys, from the arm bar. What's it going to be? The panic super? Did it work? Hey, no, it is. Oh, my God, he's so dead. 
splash for the win. <laughs> that was intense. It was a, a stressful final five seconds. If Percival, I think Percival could have charged it. If they would have charged it just a little bit longer, it would have killed. But they were probably yeah. expecting to get the, uh, they were expecting to get the cinematic. So they didn't fully yeah. charge the NATO. Well, what, what it seems like Piro is saying that the problem there is that Vemus did hold it down, and that's why it didn't do the cutscene. Oh, is that how? Is that what that does? Yeah. I, mean, to be fair, I never, I never have a reason to hold it down, so I never actually held it down. But I thought it just was the same thing. Wow, that's crazy. Unfortunate. What a heartbreaker. Yeah, because that, that was a hard read. That was a yeah. hard read. And, yeah, it just, and I, I was shocked man. that like how did this not go in cutscene? But it's because Vemus held it down. All right, so I believe there's only you know that there's only one match left. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Yeah. There is one match left, and it is uh. It's gonna be forty percent flash kick in against Nito, I believe. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's one more match left. It's forty percent flash kick versus Nito. So this is to see if forty percent goes undefeated, or if Nito, currently zero and three, mind you, pulls the ultimate underdog clutch comeback killer special of the tournament. This would be amazing. And while they wouldn't win the tournament, inside, they'd have won the whole thing. So, on, on that note, if 40% Flash Kick loses this match, it has to be a playoff against Shin Megami Inmi to, to play for that first place. So, <laughs> Nito, no pressure to him, but it's kind of riding on him Wait, to see if we're going to get more Grand Blue tonight. Would it Would it be a playoff? I thought ties go to the winner no, of it, the tie set. No, the little birdie oh, in my ear wow. told me that that's how we're going to do it. It's oh, going to be a playoff. I'm crazy, dude. But you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm always down for more Grand Blue. Well, I guess you'll be rooting for Nito then. Let's go, Nito. Give us some more Grand Blue. Yeah, I'm rooting for Nito anyway. I, I love an underdog story, dude. Cinderella, man. I love Nito too. He's so Muhammad sweet. Ali. Okay, but this is already Basket looking like 40% flash kick. He's playing his game that he wants to play. Oh, look at that. So the complete yeah, lack of respect nice. for 40% flash kick. That's sort of his play style. He doesn't respect you. Until well, you so, give him a reason to. Yeah, until so you give him a reason to. And it, it, that's fair, right? Like, oh it, God, there's an old fair. adage from Tekken, and it's if they don't know what's plus, yeah. if they don't know what's negative, it's plus, right? Oh, for sure. And that's really what 40% is doing here. 40% is testing to see what they know, what they'll check, and what, he, what they can get away with. And currently, they're just getting all kinds of rope. Yeah, 40% flash kick in a hurry. Yeah, Look that at air throw. throw. Oh my god, 40% flash kick has not gotten hit yet in two rounds. Dude, did this be a double perfect? Oh my god, no way. seven golden letters. That's 14 golden letters. Oof. Wait, that's not so a, angry. <laughs> not a good way to start for Nito. Yeah, unfortunate. 40% uh, just going with full offense saying, okay, look, it's on you. You yeah. need to show me what that's, you've got. So if Nito can make a comeback here, this is a... It, it's going to take a heck of a mental game for him to come back after that. That is... That is tough. Nito might be unshakable. But... At the very least, 40 percent flash kick will not be getting a third perfect. Ooh, oh, look at that. Funny. Trying to show a little bit too little respect there. Getting killed for it. All right. Nice forward back dash. Oh, Ooh. dashes through the overhead and gets corner now. Overhead? I never heard of it. I'm way over oh, here. Oh, no. Nito's in Much boxes. Putting oh, in. we're trying to go for that throw. Throws back. Probably going to be seeing some disrespect here. Yeah. Oh, there. Wow, that, that was, was actually punished. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was punished. That was a hard cash route. And now match point for 40% flash kick. Looking grim for our hero, but this our is how underdog really stories start. Yeah. Yeah, this is when you say run starts kicking in. Oh, look at these plus frames right now from 40% flash kick. Just getting hit by a full jump Ooh, and gonna oh hit all no. this damage. Yeah, taking the quick damage. Gets a jump. Oh, okay, nice, nice yeah. roll from Nito. Oh, this is the call though. He still gets a throw. Oh, Ooh, for the overhead. Oh, Yo, he's a dodge. Oh, oh and he gets the counter hit here. This is big. No, oh, no, he dropped the combo. This is so unfortunate. No other roll. What's going to happen here? Oh, ah. it's gonna be an art. oh okay. What's it going to be? Oh, 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 oh and that's oh it. God, it almost so dope. They that did it too so early. 40% flash kick takes it and says GG to his opponent. 
gosh. Man. It says GG to this tournament. It says GG to every player here with that undefeated streak. Undefeated streak. What a heartbreak. I mean, not for 40%. Great showing 40%, but Nito on the cusp of doing something that would have been so sick. That would have been so yeah. sick if it worked. GG right? <laughs> flash kick. Gosh. Good stuff. Right, Going well, through this whole tournament, is, undefeated. Yeah, yeah. Force of Flash Kick showing extreme, an extreme understanding of how to control space with Catalina. Great matchup knowledge, solid fundamentals, good anti-airs, and a consistent damage output, which is what that character is, right? That character yeah. is consistent. Dominance. Dominance from 40% Flash Kick this tournament. Yeah. So it looks showing like the control. final standings are going to be uh, Force of Flash Kick with... 100% win ratio, then Shin... Or just zero. Shin... <laughs> Joel. <Sidia. laughs> wow! Okay. <laughs> it says it right there! Box him too, that's fine too. <laughs> in second place, Argyle with a solid third, Crux counter in fourth, and then Nito bringing up the rear. Def last, but definitely not least, for Nito. Our yeah, hero in our sure. hearts. Yeah, in our hearts. Yeah, everybody wanted it. Mm -hmm. I He's think 40% wanted it. it. 40% was like, strike me down and become stronger than I could ever become. I don't know about that one. 40% flash kick. <laughs> Leading that last set off in two perfects. This guy had no... <laughs> <laughs> he had no shame. <laughs> oh, man. What a great tournament. Well, thank you once again, everyone who came by. Thank you especially to the people who donated to the match arena and helped bump the prize pool to... Was it $107? Is there, am I oh, my gosh. That? That's a lot of money. Was that what it was? Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly how much it was, but it yeah, these players are going to be walking away with a lot of money tonight. Yeah, for sure. So, especially for percent flash kick. Yeah, especially for flash kick. Uh, thank you to the players. I think I might have said that already. And it was great being around for another week of cat box. I think Kalos might come up to say something, the man of the hour. Always happy to be here. All right, y'all, <laughs> here I am. Hello, Hello Kalis. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you all for playing, and uh, definitely thank you to everyone that donated. Um, Tab for uh, with that clutch forty dollar reduce right there on top of the fifty that I put in. Uh, thank you very much for propping that up, and uh, yeah, thank you guys awesome. for showing up. Great tournament, and. Uh, of course, we will see you next week with going back to PS4 version and, of course, the week after going back to um, PC. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we will continue to do this with uh, Maturino. So, uh, yeah, and you guys, uh, make sure when you sign up for the tournament, please make sure you sign up on the Smash GG, <laughs> not last <laughs> second <laughs> like Tab. Oh, oh yeah. Shout out to Tab, though, for putting in a lot of money for this one. Yeah, for sure. Even though he barely missed out on actually entering this tournament. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Maybe next time, right? Maybe next time. Yeah. Anyway, All right, good then. That's going to do it for me. Yeah, shout I was out Spooter. To Happy to do some commentary here. It was great seeing you, Spooter. It was fan. It was fun. We, we clarified some stuff, too, for a stream. So that's always nice. <laughs> Uh, it's married not to me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah cool all right good night everybody all right and uh piro in the back there with the guest appearance oh. all quiet what's up the hey. here. yeah <laughs> yeah the the to to piro, but now i'm now i'm leaving goodbye I'm gonna thank you tos all right and um thank you everybody for showing up uh gonna go ahead and set you all free uh let's see who we can go to oh we need to spread the lava one here who is online right now let's see who the hell tightened back there me Alright, you know what? I'm gonna send y'all to Oreo. Oreo is streaming some fighting hurt. So, uh, I heard you guys love that game a lot. Shout out to Oreo. Big shout outs to Oreo. So, I'm gonna send y'all over to Oreo. Go watch some fighting hurt. Go get in there. Go get that game. It's a good game. Alright. Go play some Grand Blue. See y'all next week.
Peace out. Thank you.